everyone, it's Jennifer from Caffeinated Paper Cuts, and today I'm just here to do a quick tutorial about the We Are Memory Keepers Envelope Punch Board. I have had mine for a while, and I absolutely love it, but we were chatting last night, a whole bunch of us from the Mountain Plain Crafters design team, and the question came up, who had one, who doesn't? So, it turns out only a couple of us have them? And my dear friend Terry was like, come on, it cannot be that simple to use. Nothing is that simple to use. So here we go, Terry. I'm here to tell you it's really that simple to use. So fresh out of the box, and my box is long gone, of course, this is exactly what you get. It's a nice, compact, not too big, you know, it's about that big, <laughs> punch board with, now here's the really cool part. Let me see how well I can zoom in. There we go. You gives you your card size, what size your paper therefore needs to be, and your score line where you start. And I'll get to that in a few minutes. But your card size, I mean, it's got everything you could ever possibly think of. You've got your standard A2. You've got, if you wanted to go smaller, your four bar. It's, oh, oh, come on. There we go. I love it when I confuse my camera. <laughs> it's got your A7. And with this, you can go as small as a two by three and a half, a gift card size. And you can go as large as a six by eight and a half card, which uses almost a full sheet of 12 by 12 paper. How cool, right? And you can never lose the directions because they're right here. Not that I've lost things before. What are you talking about? Anyway, so yeah, let's get started. I sliced up, these are done ones, but see how pretty the envelopes turn out. Now for type of cardstock, I would go a little heavier. You don't have to go super, super heavy. I've tried it with like a hundred pound. It's a little too thick. It's actually better to go kind of a mid-weight like these guys. So let me show you what I used. <laughs> so I used the Recollections printed cardstock. It's a 65 pound. I think it's one of the multi-packs from last year. So Amazingly enough, they don't quite have Christmas out yet, even though it's October, you know. Uh, I'm the only one who thinks that it starts earlier and earlier every year. Anyway, it's a really nice, thicker cardstock. So it's going to hold up well. So I did this one earlier. As you can see, it's a really cute, pretty envelope. Nice and secure. But when I tried to put one of my standard cards in... It doesn't fit. Not really. Ah! So, here is what I did. Instead of the, where is it? There it is. Eight and an eighth by eight and an eighth. I trimmed mine to eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So, now, it fits in. Oops. Perfectly. Look at that. How pretty would this be to open up your mailbox and see this gorgeous snowflake envelope and a pretty Christmas card inside. It's not listed on the line yet. Look. Sneaky peek. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so. This is very simply the punch board. As you can see, it's got my initials on it. Obviously, it's been with me to a few crops, and I needed to say, no, this is mine, mine, mine. I want it back. It comes with, I love this part. There is a spot for you to hold your bone folder in place. So you don't, like, throw it down and put papers on top of it, and then you can't find it anymore. I don't do that all the time. What are you talking about? Anyway... This is your punch that's going to give you the little notches in your envelope. This is your score guide and your score ruler. 
So when it's talking about the score line, it's talking about these numbers up here, which is the very first mark you're going to line your paper up with. And I'll show you in a minute. And then back here, it's going to have to read it because it's tone on tone. But this is called the reverse punch. That back here is what's going to give you the little rounded corners for your pieces. So the best way is to explain this. I have here yet another piece of the cute snowflake paper, and I've cut it down to eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So it says, let me see here, I always lose it. You'd think I would have marked this by now. That the first score line for this size is at three and three quarters. So what I'm going to do is line it up. There's my three. There is my three and three quarters. All right. So what you do is punch and then score. And I, I admit, I sometimes have a problem finding where the score line starts up here. The good news is I can just go down here and kind of follow it up backwards lightly until I find it and get into the groove. Okay, now I'm going to take it. I'm going to turn it. Now this is where the score guide comes in. You will now not use these numbers again the entire time you're making this envelope. Ask me some other time what happened the first time I made my first envelope and I kept using that. Anyway, <clears throat> so score guide. Score guide, gosh, let me see if I can zoom in. Whee, so you guys can see this. All right, there we go. My score line is right here. So what I do is line up my score guide so it's right on top of that score line. Okay, and then punch and score. And then we flip, we do it again. Punch, score, line it up, punch, score. Uh, guess what kids, that's it. <laughs> Though I am going to, because I like the rounded corners, and you don't have to round the corners if you don't want to. You could absolutely fold this up right now and you just have the sharp corners. I do like them rounded, so it's punch, punch, whee! <laughs> Ta-da! All right, let me get this out of the way. Let me move my little punchy bits off. Okay, so now all I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use my cute little $1 bone folder for this. Fold in the two short sides. Fold up the bottom one. And then I'm going to use my Tombow Extreme because it is just going to forever hold this envelope in place. And because it's the Extreme, make sure you do it and then kind of jut it off to the side. So you go and off to the side to break it because it is that sticky. Fold it up, kind of rub it in a bit. In the last bit. And that is it. I now have an envelope that is all ready for mailing. Whoop. As I knock the light, that my card fits in perfectly. Now to seal it, I would probably either use, I think, probably a sticker. I could easily do a sticker right there that would hold it shut. I could do a glue dot or removable adhesive. Either of those would work. I'm actually, I haven't tried using the Tombow on this part only because I would be afraid it would rip when I would try to open it. <laughs> but there we go. A simple, easy, quick way to Make your own envelopes for just 
everyday use because you don't want to buy envelopes or because you want them to match perfectly or I use it a lot when I do a square card because I never have square envelopes on hand. So thank you so much for watching. I hope if you really liked it and it helped you out, you'll hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And otherwise, I will see you online at caffeinatedpapercuts.com. Bye!